triglycerides or TG is going to be part of your lipid profile and your normal range is less than 150 milligrams per deciliter. So it's really something that we have kind of an upper limit on and we're hoping to keep it below that upper limit. Let's talk about what triglycerides are. So first of all, triglycerides are fat, okay? And, and they're fat from the food that we eat and it's carried throughout our blood. Most of the fats that we eat on a day-to-day -day basis are in the triglyceride form. And the excess sugar and alcohol and calories that we take in is actually converted into triglycerides and is stored in the fat cells in our body. Triglycerides are different from cholesterol. Both of them are fatty substances which are classified as lipids and that's why we do our lipid profile and we get uh, our cholesterol and our tri triglycerides. But triglycerides are fats, where cholesterol is not a fat, uh, and so triglycerides are actually fat, okay? And cholesterol is this uh, substance that's made by the liver um, and is really essential to cell walls and everything. So we've talked about cholesterol before and how essential it is to our cell membrane, where triglycerides are really just fat that is stored uh, in our body. So these triglycerides can be used in, and are needed uh, to provide energy, energy during metabolic processes. However, the successive amount of triglycerides are stored as fat in the body, and so it's important that we keep our triglycerides lower. So the main reason we're going to run this, the uh, triglyceride level or a lipid panel is to assess for elevated triglycerides and assess risk for atherosclerotic heart disease and stroke. So some of the main things that are going to cause triglycerides to be elevated or to be greater than 150 is uh, cirro cirrhosis, obesity, renal failure, stress, high carb diet, alcoholic cirrhosis, myocardial infarction, alcoholism. Some of the things that are gonna cause lower uh, triglyceride levels are gonna be malnutrition, hyperthyroidism, malabsorption issues, liver disease. So the first thing that's gonna be done if we have elevated triglyceride levels, is we wanna find out why. Uh, what's going on with the patient? Uh, is this something with uh, thyroid issues? Is it poor control diabetes? Um, are there maybe liver issues that need to be addressed? The next thing that can happen for someone with uh, elevated triglycerides is we can start a healthy diet. Uh, we can work on trying to get to a, a healthy weight uh, and participating in exercise on a regular basis and then also lowering or improving our diet, lower, lower fats, lower sugars, lower simple carbs, decreased alcohol intake. Medication, things like statins can come on board if a patient has elevated triglycerides and really low HDL. And that's really going to be something that has to be evaluated in, in, in the whole picture. What's the patient's risk for developing heart disease or having a heart attack or a stroke as opposed to what's their ability to modify their life, uh, to change their diet and to, to exercise more? And is that going to be something that's going to actually help to lower their triglycerides or is it something they're not going to be able to do um, or is it not going to be able to help? Is it not going to be able to help lower triglycerides uh, and raise HDL? So it's something that really has to be looked at is what's the patient's capacity and ability to modify it without medications and then how much are medications going to help and is it something that we can actually improve their triglyceride level and decrease their risk for heart attack and stroke.